also many people when what it, when people say that there was this the symbol, symbolic uh symbolic certain worship in that in that uh, in that building that uh, when they when it, what it, does the people mean when they say that is symbolic certain worship uh, what does exactly people mean when they say symbolic certain worship exactly does they see and does they what does exactly they mean when they say that the satanic worship we can see the horns example the symbolic of open giving taking out the mouth like this that was also what many people was criticizing that in this event was full of satanic worship and uh, but also it was the color red color was dominating that meeting i was talking about we also we in christians we are using red color especially in the christmas does it say anything it does it say anything about um, christmas and i'm just trying to figure out and this is my topic that i'm going to discuss about if the red color has anything to do with um, christianity or event or what does the bible say about it the red and eh? what does the bible speak about the red color it symbolizes it symbolizes sin before I continue, I just want to introduce to you the Lamemusic.com. The Lamemusic.com is a music app for Christians that you can, you as a Christian, you can upload your songs there that which are gospel music, so that you can, uh, so that. Uh, you, and you can start to in loyalty from by when people coming just like it is the same app just like other apps like uh spotify or other apps but it is only having all a christian music and it is a good app that uh, i also have all my songs are there and this is this this app in, in need the contribution from the christian artists so that is the the people the Christians shall have a place where they, it is a very good place where um, Christians they can upload their songs, they can upload their podcasts and other things. And uh, we can also, so I'm just trying, giving you, give you, urging you to click on the link below that I will put so you can. Uh, make it clear you can click there and make your free profile so you can start to listen to the songs for free my songs all my songs are on the lambmusic.com and you can listen it totally free i continue about we are continue about our topic which is the red color in the bible the red color in the Bible, what is the Bible speak about um, the red color? In Revelation chapter seventeen, seventeen verse four, what is that? Does it say? And behold, and the angel carried the spirit into the world, and the angel carried me in the spirit into a wilderness, where I saw a woman sitting on the scarlet sitting on the scarlet beast you know scarlet beast it's red scarlet is red it's just a very red like a blood is that a scarlet scarlet beast that it was covered with the blasphemous names and it had seven heads and ten horns the woman was dressed in purple and this scarlet and it adorned with gold and the precious stones and the pearls she held in her hand a golden cup full of abomination and impurity of her sexual immorality and her mm -hmm, forehead and the forehead a master's name was written babylon the great the mother of prostitutes so you can see that the color red is the color of the babylon they say that this woman is that your symbol symbolize you say it's a babylon the mother of the prostitutes 
So with the soil, maybe we can see that uh, this red color is one of the things that is totally symbolizing. It is symbolizing the, it is, why red? I cannot say that red is, that I do not mean that I do not criminalize red because of that. I do not say that you shall not wear red. I do not say either that you shall not use any red color any longer. I'm just trying to make you wake up so you start to think critically when you see things which are not okay. And this is only that we try to figure out what is this red color exactly, what the Bible is talking about. When the Bible is talking about red color, what what it does exactly um, does it, uh, has anything to do with the holiness or anything else? We can also see that the red color has another sign of red color and another sign appeared in heaven behold a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven in the and seven diadems on his head that is the revelation chapter 12 but as i say that is this is the that is the red dragon fell from heaven and this red this dragon was also red so the Saturn this is the color the red that does it maybe it this is the color of Saturn uh, I just see I'm just trying to think here I'm trying to be thinker here is the color red is the color of Saturn I see when I see things like when I see things like this then I should question myself what do where did they get this revelation in these people did they have any kind of revelation about this color did, did they where did they get this revelation of this kind of color just an example eh? where did they get get this revelation do they have any connection or anything any bible they are reading do they read the bible or did it is just sitting on the head and then i come again why and i see things like this then i ask also myself has this anything to connect it to any holiness or anything about jesus when during the time of jesus when we are trying to celebrate jesus and some people are coming up with something like this i just think that we should think that we should be more thinkers of of this guy in the christmas and in the, in the time of christmas did this guy really come to occupy to take occupy jesus because they say that he is when he, when he or is, has anything to do and why has the day that we christians have decided to to celebrate the birth of our savior the savior of the world that has taken that has taken the uh, we can also say it has a came to save us from to let it be destroyed by these abominators eh? why do you think that it is who has who is to blame here because we have been so we we have been so naive to think that it is okay i don't think that we should fight but we 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 we, we rest or not against the flesh and blood but the principalities nobody is talking about this that's the reason i decided to talk about it no one is discussing about this then it, that's the reason i discuss about this because these people they are people they are lost and they are making even the deceiving even the 
uh, they are de deceiving even the 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 people who the people who has already been washed by the blood of Jesus to start to celebrate this is a scarlet red this color is the scarlet red so just trying to think about this here yeah. chapter 1 verse 18 the Bible says that it was God say that come now and let us reason together say the Lord for your sins be as scarlet as scarlet or red as blood hmm? as, as red as cream so that Bible says talk about the, you, as your sins are right as they shall be as white as snow say the Lord so we know that uh, the the color red and um, also scarlet oh that is mean that is the color of the blood is also symbolizing sin in somehow but also i can i do not say that uh, it is wrong to say that it is symbolizing blood but uh, there is a lot of blood even if there is the blood of jesus is that but it is not only the blood of jesus that has been poured down but uh, there are also other blood is that people are losing when they are being killed so or they die yes we can see that uh, because maybe we symbolize uh, jesus has had his blood for us but it does it Yes, does it say so much enough that this color should symbolize the day of his birth? I just is trying to also think. I don't think that I, those who are using the color are uh, how they are sinning. I don't think that. It, but we just think that because we need to make our bodies as a pleasing sacrifice to God and try to do whatever we can to to to, to please our God instead of doing some things or to joining the abominators so we become cursed together with them. Praise the living God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I put all in your hands. I hope everyone who has been watching this, Lord, and listening to this, even if I'm trying my best to try to warn people, because the meaning of this talking is to make people wake up. It's only, it's only that. So, it's been written, by their fruits you will know them. So we must be aware of the kinds of fruits that are spread around the world, like uh, this is a fruit. So you see red color, because now we have this red color. When you see a red color, see that brown. When you see that red color is symbolizing love, people say that. I don't know where this come from. When you see that, uh, I just come next to the next video where I will discuss even more about this red color. Hello my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to my sending today. Today I talk about, I discuss about the red color in the Bible. What does it read? red color means in the bible does it has anything that you got, bible has this been discussed about red color in red we have been told that we know that we are we have been we have been red color in christianity maybe we should say red color Red color, what is the red color symbolizes for Christianity? We have been told that, or oh, we discussed so much about red color has also something to do with, with Christmas. Um, we have so been told, but because it is symbolized because the red color because they say that is because this man called santa claus we are wearing red color i just have no idea why if you know anything about that please comment on comment on my comment below and tell me what 
was the Santa Claus was wearing red, but in the Bible, Santa Claus does not exist. Or Santa Claus is uh, symbolized, they say that he is a saint because he was. Um, because well, first we have something called the Christmas, and the Christmas is as according to the word of God. I don't know who has started this, but Christmas we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. I do not have problem with Christmas myself, I do not have anything, but my question is why do we use red color on during christmas does it symbolize anything that is written in the bible the red color so when we are talking about jesus jesus is a man of the bible and when we talk about christ we are talking about jesus is the word of god and the word of god is jesus that means that Jesus, everything about Jesus shall be also coming from the Word of God. But does the Word of God tell us anything about Jesus and the red color? This is my question because we have seen that in normal when during Christmas we see that so many people are decorating the house with red and you see that the red is everywhere and we say that we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. Some people they say that we celebrate Santa Claus. If you ask them Santa Claus, who that's the meaning of Santa Claus? Some people say that there was a man who was living long time ago and this man he was giving gifts to people during the so during the Christmas, I don't know, and this man, I mean we are talking about this man here, he was giving gift to the people um, during, the Chris, during the Christmas and he, because of that, they, when he died, they called him Saint. That means saint. But do we have no I what do we mean when we talk about someone is a saint? We mean that someone is saint is someone who is holy in the world. That is someone that has been declared holy when they did. We know that we have many saints in the Bible, like Peter, like we we, we think that they are saints, like Peter, like uh, apostles of Jesus that we think or we think that they died they were saints but was this Santa Claus that is a meaning that he is actually Santa Claus is this man also uh, holy and do we mean that the Jesus Christ's celebration shall be, be celebrated with things like this hmm? We mean that this is uh, something to do with uh, Christmas. We mean that this is something to do with Christmas. When we say that we celebrate Christmas, we mean that we are celebrating someone who is holy, someone who is saint, some who is Jesus, who came from heaven. So my, my question is, there is anything that which with its color red that symbolizes uh, the coming of Jesus? May or maybe Jesus all has something called direct connection. Where well, Jesus is wearing red? The truth is, I do not want you to 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 avoid red because the red color is just the color. But I'm just trying to discuss something like this so we can open our eyes so we do not become deceived. And do how do you decorate your house during Christmas? Do you also decorate your house with the red things? But do, do have you ever asked the question yourself? Why am I using red? Why am I using? I needed to use this Santa Claus, and this Santa Claus is that I mean is that because now the, we are we are when we are now because the meaning of celebrating. Uh, that it is the day of someone it is to announce to tell people to talk about that person to preach about that person like Jesus when we are celebrating his day of, of, of coming we are telling the world there was a man came and this man was this and this and this do you think that we can what kind of, of, of 
symbols that we are using in that day when Jesus was born. We are using these things. We mean that if you ask someone, will tell you this is Santa Claus. Santa. That Santa is actually maybe it is Italian language, isn't it? Santa is Italiano. And the Santa Claus, it means that the one who is holy and his name is close so when do we think that we connect anything like this with holiness and this is my actually my question so we can just try to we just try to work up and think that uh what is the bible actually speak about uh, about uh, say that you do not be deceived neither sexually immorally no idolatry no adulterers no men who have sex with men no thieves no greedy no drunkards no slanders no swindler will help the kingdom of god so we must go through that and we think that when we talk about someone is a saint we mean that someone has actually has the quality to go to has the quality to inherit the kingdom of God. But then our question is, why then we decorate our Christmas Christ, it means Christ. I can think that Christmas, the Christmas is also, I think it is this language, I don't know if it is Italiano or it is another language, but in this language, when you say Christ, Christ, Mass, Mass is some kind of, I don't know if it is it Italian or is it Latin, I don't know, but Mass, it means like, a, you know, Mass is like a, like a face or like a event, something like this. Eh? When you, you know, when you, they, they, even the Catholic, when they go to church during Sunday, they say we are going to the Mass, or we say that, no, we shall have a Mass. That is what I used to use when we when I was going into Anglican church. So we shall have mass. So Christmas, it maybe it is something Christ event, something like this, I think. But then when we try to connect the red color with the red color, we mean that it is the red of this, the color of this man. Then my question is, then we have forgotten about Jesus because now we are celebrating this man instead of celebrating Jesus. We are celebrating actually this man during Christmas. Think about it, it is you who has birthday. But then someone else come to the birthday and suddenly the, we, we turn our focus from the one who has birthday to start to celebrate to someone else because that someone else look much more nicer or maybe is much kind or is good. So I am thinking that maybe we have been deceived in somehow to think that Christmas has something to do with Jesus or we have something to do that we have been deceived. We have put the devil inside of inside our inside of our our the day that we should celebrate Jesus but instead but which is which you decide yourself I don't think that he, you I don't know if for myself I still celebrate Christmas we can see that the people of the world they love this color so much you know that the people of the world they love this color so much and this color is telling me something do you understand it is telling me something uh, why do the people of the world love this color you understand that and uh, why is this color so much does the people of the world know anything that we don't know or oh, it has something to do with something else that it, oh, it, I mean it has something to do with something we don't know huh? I'm just trying to think here. I am trying to think. I, it is just. It is. I think it is okay to think. Eh? It is very okay to think. Eh? Why did this, do they use this color? But so we have seen that Christ, uh, during Christmas we are also dominating with the, the party with the red color. At the same time, we'll see even the Grammy Award. You know this party, it was, it was the Grammy Award, that during a Grammy Award, that people's name, that it was obvious that the Saturn's, Saturn's, uh, 
certain worship was so dominating that that party and it has been actually you see if you see yourself you will understand what these people they are actually doing and this is what is dominating the world this time because people think that this something is more important than anything else to to something like this eh? my question here is why red color also is in the used during christmas because does god does god care so much about colors i just don't know i don't know if god even care which color of my clothes i wear i don't know but i think that are we not being deceived here this is my question but does bible say anything about the red color what does the red color symbolize i just want you to know come to the next video then i will tell you the meaning the real meaning of red color praise the lord